I think to me, positive provocation means you don't always need to agree. Where we come from defines how we see the world and how we behave. But it doesn't define how we should respond if we think certain things need to change. This is Lina, and head of uh, thought leadership. I was born in a very small city in northwest China. In China, we have a stronger culture of collectivism. And that culture is saying to, to people that we need to blend in. When I was born, like families can only have one child. And the reason why I was born, because my sister has, uh, has these intellectual disabilities. So that's the reason why uh, my family was able to have me. Although people they try to be very kind, I could still feel uh, like some biased views like people would have. Uh, well, to my sister, and I think it's unfair. The culture is not, was not mature enough to accept the fact of just people are different, right? From Leto, I always felt the need to rebel. There seemed to be a one format of existence <laughs> in school. I think in workplace, it's the same. So the reason why we need to promote different way of working is because of that. We had this very uh, crazy idea. <laughs> I didn't expect people would support. And we got a lot of supporters. We were participating with NGO and we were supported by different clients, different brands to really co-create this activity. We asked them to use masks to project who they think they are and ask them to uh, re-examine, right? Is it really the, the true self? And then we ask them to destroy the parts that they think doesn't belong to them. The parts that, has, that were defined by the outside, right? You know, like every culture has limitation and every uh, human being has limitation. But you can make change and you need to fundamentally believe that you can do it and proactively challenge the way people used to see the world.